What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and OneNote, and we're going to look at the action which is create a section in a notebook. So this action allows you to programmatically and automatically create a section inside of a notebook that you may be using for your, like, you know, your OneNotes and things like that. So I use OneNote mainly for things like projects, for daybooks and things like that. So one of the things that you could do with this is you could, um, when a new project is created inside a dynamic system, you automatically create a section for that, uh, that customer and that project that you may be working on. Um, so let's take a look at this action today. I'm in Power Automate. I have a manual trigger flow uh, just because we want to trigger this flow. Next, we can click on New Step and we can search OneNote. And then we can look at the action, which is create a section in a notebook. Now, this has two inputs. It has a notebook key and the name of the section. The notebook key is the name of the notebook that you want to update. So I have three notebooks that I currently have access to. I have this MCJ notebook, I have this Matt notebook, and I have this development two notebook. So if we choose the MCJ one, I can then add a new section in. Note that this isn't actually a required field, which I, again, I find odd that some of these actions don't actually have required fields in here, uh, even though they are required and it's the whole point of the action. I just so you can put blank in that, but it still doesn't make much sense to me. Um, so we will put a name in here, so we'll call this flow section one in here. And that's all we need. So we will test. We will out from the trigger action. We'll save and test. And then we'll run the flow. We'll click done. Flow is running. And hopefully, there we go, we get green ticks all the way across. And we can switch over to our notebook. So this is a notebook. Notice there's no section here yet. It will take a second for it to kind of refresh and update. I usually find it works if I click another section and click back. It kind of goes off and gets the details and there's a cat. Um, it's always good fun to, uh, to play with, to make videos when there's cats about, eh? We'll just refresh the page just to see, uh, there we go, yeah, flow section one. So yeah, it may just take a few seconds to synchronize across. Usually in my testing, I've seen this synchronize while I've been using it, but it may be because I've had multiple notebooks open recently that may, it may not have pulled that latest data down, and I just need to refresh the page. But this should hopefully, um, should hopefully help you automatically create these things. So another good use of something like this is uh, we have OneNote's um, OneNote capabilities inside of Dynamics 365 or CDS. And one of the things you could do is automatically create sections. So maybe when you start a new project and you create that OneNote, maybe you need to create a bunch of sections in that OneNote for different areas of that project. So say project kickoff, um, you know, UAT, uh, development, scoping, all those sorts of things. You could potentially automate this and create certain sections and create pages inside those sections to start the project off right and get that one note already set up so you don't need to do things. So you can use this to template things. I think it's a really useful feature. What do you guys think? What do you guys use this for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please click the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.